I'm outside the Clare PPN. Uh, it's their public participation network. Um, it's got a secretariat that's been involved in Listoon Varna. In my opinion, some very sus uh, goings on. So I've prepared a list of questions. I don't want to go through it, uh, all of them now, but just basically, uh, is there funding for these people from Clare PPN who seem to be colluding or we'll say cooperating with the RIA? Um, the Reception and Integration Agency, working for our Department of Justice and Equality, who are essentially the state who are forcing these migrants toward Listoon Verna. It seems that there's a kind of slightly incohate group of individuals who are kind of being, in terms of the vote that was done, um, they're kind of being quizlings within their own community. They seem to be cooperating. As soon as the, the vote was done, and then the deal was signed in Dublin. It's gone through, it's just happening. And immediately, some of the same people who were organizing the community, the kind of vote, answering questions, as soon as that was allegedly done, they went straight to being friends of refugees, welcome committee type people. So I wonder, did they know about this before the community did? Have they kind of greased the, uh, I don't know, what is it? Greased the wheels, greased the something um, to have this done. I think they've been crucial because Marcus White was a hotel owner. He just wanted to make money. Um, and the Department of Justice Equality want to send these refugees or migrants or asylum seekers somewhere. So they... They're just doing their thing, but I think this third group, this kind of fifth column who are in the community, because I think they're really important because if you look at it, the community didn't want it. They got a media response, like a large one, Breitbart and all that, which kind of forced the Irish Independent to look at it and that they had eyes on them. The community voted against it. Um, I put that video up of the the vote against it. Very powerful when you see it happening like that. They had every defence and yet it just went along. And it doesn't do that by itself. Eugene Banks, the guy from the this, uh, the state sending these migrants, him and Marcus White, the hotel owner, them shaking hands and making it happen, that's not enough. You need this kind of clique in the area, in the county, in the community. They're they're there and they're not being looked at. And it seems people in Liston Verna don't really have a media connections and they're just rabbit in the headlights a little bit. They're, they're not looking into these deeper things, it seems to me. Maybe I'm wrong. I too am an outsider. But I'm less so than uh, ooh, a Nigerian uh, asylum seeker. I mean, you know, so we'll get over that. Um, yeah, it seems like that to me, and it seems like no one in Lystian Van is looking at it. Um, so I want to, and I'm about to go in. I have a little list of questions written out here, and uh, I'd love if they were answered. I'm guessing this office is kind of like they're just sitting around. I mean, these people, it's not a restaurant. They don't have to bang out orders. They're not under pressure. They're, you know... Uh, pencil pushers, you know, they're just on their. I'm, I'm assuming they're on Facebook most of the day if they're if they're full time employees there. That's just me. Um, so one would assume if you had questions. Oh, and also they do have these organisations are. You know, they like to say we're about transparency and all this. So if what I would expect is given their free time and their alleged, let's say, um, uh, commitment to transparency. I would assume they go, hey, the you know the fourth estate. I'm I don't know if I'm a journalist. I'm I'm someone, right? You would think they would say, oh, come on in. We'll answer your questions. What's going on? We don't need to, you know we don't need any of this. Just sit down and we'll talk about it. It doesn't need to be official that much. You can just ask us. We'll answer. If we don't know the answer, we'll call maybe someone from within this organization who does know it, and we'll we'll get back to you really soon. But you know it would be a frank thing. You would just say, here are my questions, asked, answered, no big deal. I'm guessing they will say, I'll, at the desk they'll say, do you have an appointment? I'll go, no, sorry, no, I can't do it. 
um, and then I'll email them and I'll get this kind of dry, evasive, non-response essentially. Um, and if you have to do freedom of inf information, they can fob that off as as um, as not specific enough, and you could be endlessly after that. It takes six weeks for one and then another. It's it's all too late. The migrants will have newborn kids in Liston Verna, grandkids. Um, by the time I get an answer in their official channel, but I'm going to go in anyway and see um, because it's worth trying to find out. And um, I'm also going to go to Listun Verna to ask people what they think about that because it might not stop what's happening in Listun Verna. I hate to say that, but it might not, right? Um, they're supposedly arriving on Monday. Who knows? Um, but if we could understand that a bit better, this kind of third faction, we might have a chance of stopping it at these next places. And there are next places um, all the time. It's, I can't keep up with them. Um, so I think I'm speculating. I'm spe I've speculated a lot here, so no, you know, whatever. Um, it's all just kind of, a lot of it is hunch. It's based on kind of fact, kind of observations. I um, I think from the reception and integration agency, I think it's um, systematic. These people aren't dummies. They have something like 20 something staff under Eugene Banks working for him. Very clever people, I'm sure, very well paid. They have time, they have resources, they have power. And uh, I don't think they're so stupid as to just go to hotel owners and bummed out, you know, yeah, ex-hotel owners and people who need money and want money. I don't think they just go to them and do a little sneaky, greasy deal. And they're they're too smart for that and too successful for that. They know they need more. And I think their system is, or sorry, I think it's quite systematic. I think they're going from one place to the next and seeking out these people. I don't know, do they find people who are maybe already on grants? They're kind of volunteer kind of people who get maybe EU grants, state grants, those type of people, they target them maybe. Those people are already engaged in the system. They might not even need to be paid because they're already on that kind of dole. Um, and possibly they are getting paid. And possibly when they set up a Friends of Refugees welcome committees, they know there's a grant there. Um, it might not be stated explicitly. They might not get it in the hand in a brown envelope and a sneaky deal with a smoke in the room and a wink and it might be just an understood thing because these people are already engaged in this grant getting system so they understand what they're going to go for and the state understand these people as willing recipients kind of at all costs and the fact here's the main thing um i'm going into them now i should shut up but i'm gonna have a wee smoke That was a, that took a while. Um, the funny thing is, is they're called Clare PPN. It's Clare Public Participation Network, and they've got um, the, this acronym stands for yeah Public Participation Network, which is hilarious because the, 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 that suggests they're not the state. They're more we reach out to the community and feel what they want, and we go back. Um, well, this vote was 93% um, against and they're just going, oh well, well, we're just going to cooperate with the state and bring in these migrants anyway. We're going to be the facilitators. Ridiculous. Um, also, I think they are representatives of Clare County Council and they're meant to be feelers in the community for this Clare County Council. So it's them, Clare County Council. I don't understand how they are directly linked to the RIA now. Why? Um... And also, yes, why are they f cooperating with the RIA when their job is... M they're meant to side down. They're meant to side down toward the community, but they've sided up to the highest level, to the state level. And you could possibly say the EU level, in a sense, we all know. So it it's just doesn't make any sense to me. I'd like some answers. There's more to it than this as well. There's a reason why I'm saying all this. It's I, I didn't just pull it out of my ass. Uh, I've been up in Liston Verna, I've spoken to people, I was at that meeting, I saw certain things and certain people and certain things were said and this and that, that have led me to the point of sitting in a car park, about to go in here and get um, 
get bounced immediately by a receptionist. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, I hope it wasn't too rambly and you kind of get it, maybe, or whatever. But um, that's why I'm here and we'll see how it goes. Thanks.